Today was the day. Moving day for the cows. Hey YouTube, welcome back. We're gonna move these cows right here and we're gonna make a fence all the way around here. This house is gonna come down right here. Okay, I'm gonna take down my garage too then we're gonna burn down this house. But I don't wanna put in wooden posts because when this house gets hot, this house is when they burn, they get excessively hot. I don't wanna have my fence get all ruined. So we're gonna put in some metal posts. We're probably gonna come out to right about in here and we're gonna come across here. We're gonna put a gate on the other side of that tree over there. And we're gonna put a gate right around in here as well. Um, Cause eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this whole thing the other side and have two separate um, sections of pasture. They're gonna be here first. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it over to on this side when we burn down the house over there. So, um, this is the stuff we're using today. 15 gauge, well 15.5. High tensile, four points. It means four points per barbed wire. Five inch spacing in between the two. And uh, we got a quarter mile of that. And we got some wire we're gonna connect them to. We have some metal posts, T-posts. This is a log we're using, this is cedar. I'm gonna use this for my H posts or my H frames between the two posts. I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, we'll get it squared up and everything else. So stay tuned. Here's one pole over here. And there's my other two poles right there. So I cut this to length and I put a little notch in it. Um, what that's gonna do, it's gonna fit right up in here. Actually, it'll be down here, but it'll fit right up in here. And I cut these little, I cut these little notches right in here for my wire to sit on. So I'm gonna strap it up. strapped down and this one's strapped down over here I just put it over these little ridges and that stabilized it so now what I'm gonna do since the fence is gonna go that way I'm gonna put a wire from here all the way down down to here to the base of it and I'm gonna go back up to here and I'm gonna tighten it so when this fence wants to get post or pulled, it's gonna have to go that way. I'm also gonna tie these two in when I get this pole, this H beam, across over to this next one, which is right there. I have these H boards now in on both of them. I attach wire from here to here. So when this side gets pulled that way by the gate or the fence, it'll try to pull from down here so it won't be able to pull that way. I'm gonna tighten these up real fast and we'll go from there and we'll do the next side. Got those done. 
This is what she looks like now. So now when somebody pulls from this side, she don't move at all that way. See how this one's up here and it goes down there. So now when we pull on this one, it doesn't move. Those are tied down together right there and they're secured up there. So one corner done. Well, we got the four posts done. Um, put one, a couple right here. Everything else. This is the corner. Cows. I made an extension piece from that one all the way over to this one because we're going to put our gate right here. Same thing over here. I made an extension because the gate's 88 inches. And here's another corner post. And right here, I made made it regular, but um, right here is where we put another one. So if I stand back, you can see the other gate. Because behind her, we're gonna put another pen in. And then this one's gonna be just a regular fence all the way across. And then it's gonna go from there. This is how I notched them. I came through right in this area and I wrapped them around and give you guys a little. Notched it into the wood here. Yeah, I notched it in here. I'll show you. And yeah. I it there. And then I notched it right in there so it would slip right in. They're not really tight this way, but pull. I mean, they're tight. Yeah, they're really tight. A we'll, bad joke real quick? What bad joke? Our friend Barb stopped by. She just wanted to help us wrap things up with the fence. <laughs> <laughs> wife joke. Not dad joke, wife dad joke. Dad joke. Mom joke. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but we're going to run it from there to there. So we'll catch up to you in a little bit. Oh, also, start from the top. When you do your, when you do your um, barbed wire, Start from the top and then out. Cows are now moved. Hey, Lenny. That's our little cow right there. He's a little guy. Tomorrow I'm going to put their water trough in. Uh, 60 gallons. So I'll just be able to pump the rainwater right to him. That guy over there. Scooter. <clears throat> I'll see if I can get a close-up of his nose. We let him in, as you guys saw. And he ran right into his fence. It dropped him though. He got a little gash on his nose, put some Vaseline on it. Should be fine. But he broke the wire strap right here. From here down. So I gotta fix that. 
and are still trying to eat the wood. Well, he's eating the tree, let him. But they're still trying to eat this wood right here. They're addicted to wood. As you can see back in their cattle pen, as you can see back there, they ate almost that whole damn thing down. Crazy cows. So what we did was we put, when you ran through, we put these little, oops, sorry guys. See these little posts? We were just gonna put a stringer through them of wire, but we decided to put more little posts. So that one I put over there because it's um, stretched out. I tried to stretch it back as best as I could, but until I get to fix it right the way I ain't gonna work, but he almost, hey, there's your face. Let me see your face. Yeah, let me see your face. See what you did? Yeah, you're trying to give me kisses. You like your place now, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he gashed his head pretty good. Didn't you, buddy? Yeah. They're really tame. They are real bulls. Both of them are. But they, uh... They're not steers. We didn't castrate them. This is what I want to show you. So, right here, when I fenced this, I fenced it from here. What are you eating? You eat wood. Why do you, damn beaver. Anyway, any rate, um, these ones right to here, I fenced this whole thing in, and that's barbed wire. And then right here, this is open. Well, this is gonna be open. It's gonna be another gate. Like we use the cattle pen over there. These cows. You think they were freaking horses. But this is gonna be the other gate. And that's why I put this one in right here. They're addicted to wood. Guys! Knock it off! I know it's on beat. Here comes the cows. Yeah, two on the barbed wire. See how far that gets you. Crazy cow. All right, guys. Thank you for watching all. Um, we haven't put a video up in a while, so we've been busy. Cheddar has a new job. Well, same job. She just got promoted. So her career kind of took off. I um, weren't expecting that. Um, but I'm going to be doing a bunch of stuff. I know we said we have a generator that we have to do a review for, for you guys. Um, it's a Harbor Freight one. It's a Predator. Pretty good generator. We'll get that one out to you guys shortly, though. I just want to make sure I got this stuff done for my cows. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, appreciate it. Hello to the new subscribers. Hello to my old ones. Guys, have any questions or comments, um, drop them down below. I'd like to hear what you guys think. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Oh, by the way, happy Memorial Day, guys. Don't forget the ones who never came home. Ever.